Herzlich willkommen zum kleinen Amsterdam Talk der anderen Variante. Ich bin hier gerade im Athletikcenter von der Oklahoma Christian University mit meinem Coach Josh Davis. Hi. Äh, es ist gerade ein Sonntag, 23.01.2022. Das Semester ist gerade begonnen und wir befinden uns auf dem Weg in die Championship Season. So, let's switch back into English. Hello, Josh Davis. Thank you for having you here for this little interview. Um, just tell us something about yourself, whatever you do, what are you doing, why are you here? Right, my name is Josh Davis, and I grew up in Texas, but I now am a coach in Oklahoma. But growing up, I started swimming pretty fast at 12 and 13, and then got the scholarship to swim in college at the University of Texas. That's what we do at Texas. And we were national champions there. And then I got to go to the Olympics, two Olympics, 96, where I got three gold medals, and Sydney, Australia, where I got two silver medals. And it was there that I broke the American record in the 200 free and got to meet several German swimmers, like Franziska von Almsmick. She swam when I was swimming and got to travel the world for 10 years with the USA team. But now I'm a college coach. So I love swimming and I love getting to train people like Felix. Mm -hmm. And uh, so very thankful he's on the team. Yeah. So tell us something about the university. Why did you choose Oklahoma Christian? Yes, I, uh, I'm, I'm a Christian and I've been involved with swimming for a long time. So when the college called me saying we need a Christian swim coach, I said, well, okay, I'm your guy. I, uh, I know swimming and uh, we're a Christian campus, which is so to put the two together and I was, I was glad to help. They had never had a swim team before. So they asked me to start it. So we're now in our fifth year and we're still relatively new, but we're, we're getting fast, fast. Yeah, it's definitely matching with you as the coach here That's at this good. university. Um, and now tell us something about like for the people in Germany, how can they like imagine doing college sport? What, what does it mean to be a college athlete at a university? What is, what is required to be an athlete and yeah. how is it? I think being a college athlete is one of the hardest schedules a young person can take on, because especially in swimming, because we train in the morning, Then you go to class for a few hours. Then we train in the afternoon. Then you study for a few hours. Then you try and have a social life. And then you got to eat, of course, a lot. And you try and sleep enough to make it all work. So it's very challenging, but it's also very rewarding because you're with a team, you're getting stronger, you're getting smarter. It's, it's a very uh, productive schedule. Yeah. And uh, so I think it's one of the best ways you can do college is with a sports team. It's challenging, but rewarding. And then the nice thing is, everything after that is easy. Yeah. Because when you have to show up to a job by 9 a.m., you're like, oh, piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, so we had practice in basically nine swims a week and three lifts. Correct. So 12 practices a, a week. This is like the magic formula you see. That's say. the elite formula, the normal formula. Nine swims, three lifts. In some distance, people go 10 swims, two lifts. But usually nine and three is the normal. Yes, yes. And what do we expect like for the next upcoming weeks in terms of meet and practice and uh, everything like just around swimming? Yeah, swimmer's favorite time is the taper. You taper down in yardage and intensity. So you let the muscles rest and build up and you get what we call the, the twitch, the fast twitch, especially for the sprinters. Yes. It's fun to taper and you start feeling better each day and a little bit faster. And, um, and then we shave, the taper and shave. We shave the hair off our arms and legs, and uh, hopefully we go real, real fast. So we train hard for several months, and then taper and shave for two weeks, and then that's the typical cycle. Yeah, that's true. So, so hope, hopefully we have best times for Felix when he shaves his legs. Yes. Nice and smooth, <laughs> like a dolphin. Yes, going to Colorado for conference. Yes, our big meet will be in Colorado. It's a little tricky because it's at high altitude. So it doesn't affect the sprinters so much, but the distance people will, will feel it. But, um, and so with the nice thing though, is they give you a conversion. So for the 100, 200, and 500, you get some time off, what they call a conversion. So it works out pretty mm. good. Yeah, hopefully we are doing great. And um, so at the end, maybe you can like give it an advice for young swimmers, how to start off, how to get like the love for swimming, how to get faster. Yes, I think, Whatever your goal is, you have to have great coaches or great teachers. You have people that know how, that have gone before you that know what it's going to take. And so, and once you get those great coaches, you find a great team or a great system that you can, you know, you got to put in the time, you got to put in the work. And um, 
hard work works. And um, so great coaches, great teammates, a great structure, a great system um, is going, you're going to have inevitable progress. But there are little things. You've got to work on the technique. So you can't just, you know, slosh around in the pool. You actually have to swim pretty. You have to have really good technique. You have to eat right. You know, we can always get better at eating. We can always get better at our sleeping. We can always get better at our technique in the pool. And all those little things add up to make a big difference that will really set you apart. And college coaches will like that. And you'll have the habits ingrained where you know how to be tough, how to be strong, how to make good grades, and you can keep going to the next level. All right. Thank you very much for the interview. I really love to be part of the team. That's so good. thank you for having me. Thank you for being my coach. And greetings to Germany. Thank you.